Hello and welcome to the second series on programming computational fluid dynamics. In this series we will be looking at two dimensional scalar problems and extend our existing one dimensional code for solving 2D scalar problems. We will start with finite volume method in 2D and we will simplify the formulation for Cartesian meshes. What we will basically see is that two dimensional problem on a Cartesian mesh basically boils down to two one dimensional problems. Then we will look briefly at the modifications which are required in the existing data structures to extend it to 2D problems. And we will look at the array indexing in two dimensions. We will then dive into the code and modify the code to solve simple advection equations and uh, with various initial conditions. <clears throat> Finally, we will do an order of accuracy study to make sure that there are no mistakes in the code. The governing equations which we will be solving is shown here. This is a simple advection equation in 2D with the exact solution being just the translation of the initial distribution along the direction given by the constants Ax and Ay. I will continue with the same code which I had written in Java for one dimensional problems and uh, I will be using NetWins for uh, as an IDE. I will use Python for plotting and visualization and I will use Spider as the IDE for Python. Uh, and I will be also using Git and uh, we will be constantly maintaining the versions so that we don't lose any data. If you have not seen the first series on one dimensional problems then I would recommend you to go through that series first. This is going to be a short series with only about 6 videos or so and uh, we will not be covering the basics as those have already been covered in the one dimensional case that is I have already covered details about limiters and higher order reconstructions in the previous series and hence I will not touch upon those topics now. Alright so I will see you in the next video and that video is going to be on finite volume methods for two dimensional Cartesian mesh. So until next time, bye bye.